What if the world's most advanced fighter jet, the F-22 Raptor, wasn't built to win wars, but to end them before they even start? Imagine this. A sleek, invisible predator streaks through the skies at over 1,500 miles per hour, undetected by enemy radar, ready to unleash hell before anyone even knows it's there. But here's the shocker. Despite being the world's most advanced fighter jet, costing a staggering $350 million per unit, the F-22 Raptor has only scored its first official air-to-air -air kill against a balloon. That's right, in 2023, it took down a Chinese spy balloon off the U.S. coast. So what makes this beast so secretive that it's barely seen combat in major wars? And how does it dominate the skies without firing a shot? Why did America kill its own invincible jet? What was the hidden reason behind grounding the most unstoppable weapon ever built? Stick around because in this episode, we're diving deep into the F-22's explosive history, its game-changing tech, hidden flaws, and why it's still the king of the air today. We'll uncover every thrilling detail to satisfy your curiosity. If you're loving aviation thrills like this, hit that subscribe button right now and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss our next deep dive into military marvels. Let's rewind to the Cold War era when the skies were a battlefield of ideologies. It all started in 1981 as the U.S. Air Force faced a nightmare. Soviet fighters like the Su-27 Flanker and MiG-29 Fulcrum were closing the gap on American air superiority. The F-15 Eagle, America's top dog since the 1970s, was starting to look vulnerable against advanced radar systems and integrated air defenses. Enter the Advanced Tactical Fighter Program, a top-secret race to build the ultimate air dominance machine. The goal? Create a jet that could penetrate enemy airspace undetected, outmaneuver anything in the sky, and strike first without mercy. By 1986, the competition heated up. Lockheed Martin teamed with Boeing and General Dynamics to prototype the YF-22, while Northrop and McDonnell Douglas pushed the YF-23 Black Widow II. These weren't just planes. They were revolutionary. The YF-22's first flight in September in 1990 showcased supercruise, sustained supersonic speed without fuel-guzzling afterburners, and thrust vectoring for insane agility. Picture a jet-pulling maneuvers that defy physics, like flipping nose up at 60 degrees angle of attack while still controlling the fight. In April 1991, after brutal evaluations, the YF-22 won. Why? It balanced stealth, speed, and cost better than its rival, even if the YF-23 was stealthier and faster in straight lines. Development kicked into high gear under the engineering and manufacturing development phase, but it wasn't smooth sailing. Budget cuts post-Cold War delayed things, and avionics glitches required over 1.7 million lines of code tweaks. Finally, on September 7, 1997, the first production F-22, nicknamed Raptor 4001, took off from Marietta, Georgia. It was a beast. Twin Pratt and Whitney F-119 engines delivering 35,000 pounds of thrust each, enabling Mach 2.25 top speed and supercruise at Mach 1.82. Full production ramped up in 2001, but costs ballooned to $67 billion for just 195 jets, 187 operational. Initial operational capability hit in December 2005 with the 94th Fighter Squadron at Langley Air Force Base, Virginia. 
By 2011, the line shut down amid debates over whether the F-22 was overkill for post-9-11 wars focused on insurgents, not superpowers. Yet this timeline birthed a legend, a fifth-generation fighter that redefined warfare. So why build it? Simple? Air dominance. The F-22 was engineered to spearhead attacks in contested skies, clearing the way for bombers and ground forces. Its stealth, a radar cross-section tinier than a marble, lets it evade detection from 250 miles away. Supercruise means it closes on targets faster, saving fuel and staying cooler to infrared sensors. And with sensor fusion, the pilot gets a godlike view. The AN-APG-77AESA radar tracks 100 targets at once, while the ALR-94 electronic warfare system jams enemies passively. It was the U.S. answer to a potential Warsaw Pact invasion, ensuring NATO could strike deep without losing pilots. Now, the action-packed part, combat history. Despite its prowess, the F-22's deployments were shrouded in secrecy to protect its tech. It first went overseas in 2007 to Kadena Air Base, Japan, but a software glitch crossing the international dateline grounded them temporarily. Talk about a plot twist. By 2009, rotations to the UAE deterred Iranian threats, and in 2013, an F-22 stealthily warned off an Iranian F-4 Phantom harassing a U.S. drone. The real fireworks started in September 2014 during Operation Inherent Resolve against ISIS in Syria and Iraq. On its debut combat sortie, F-22s bombed targets near the Tishran Dam, dropping JDAMS and providing close air support. They flew 204 sorties by 2015, dropping 270 bombs while de-conflicting with Syrian, Russian and Iranian jets, backing off 587 aircraft to avoid escalation. In 2017, they hit Taliban opium labs in Afghanistan alongside B-52s. Then, in February 2018, F-22s supported strikes crushing pro-Assad forces and Russian mercenaries in Syria's Deir Ez-Zor. But the headline grabber. February 4, 2023, an F-22 from Langley, AFB, downed a massive Chinese spy balloon at 60,000 feet off South Carolina using an AIM-9X Sidewinder, its first air-to-air -air kill. Days later, more shootdowns over Alaska and Yukon against unidentified objects. These weren't dogfights, but they proved the Raptors' precision in asymmetric threats. No major wars like Iraq or Afghanistan blame its classified edge. The U.S. didn't want adversaries reverse engineering it. Strengths? Where do I start? Stealth is king. Internal bays hide six AIM-120 AIM rams for beyond visual range kills, two AIM-9s for close quarters, or ground bombs like eight GBU-39 small diameter bombs. Thrust vectoring nails plus 9G turns, outmaneuvering anything. Avionics fuse data into a single cockpit display, turning the pilot into a battlefield oracle. It's logged over 500,000 flight hours, dominating exercises like Red Flag with 221 to 0 kill ratios. Super Cruise expands its envelope, fly farther, faster, undetected. But no jet's perfect. Weaknesses hit hard. Eye-watering costs, $59,000 per flight hour, with maintenance eating one-third due to fragile stealth coatings that hate rain or sand. Early hypoxia issues from the oxygen system grounded the fleet in 2011 after a fatal crash, fixed by 2013 with backups. Limited production means no spares glut and no exports, banned by Congress. 
keeps the club exclusive but small. It's less multi-role than the F-35, great for air superiority, but initial ground attack was bolted on. Aging tech needs constant upgrades, like the 2021 open systems for faster software patches, but rivals like China's J-20 are catching up. Today, the F-22 rules from bases like Langley, Elmendorf in Alaska, and Tyndall in Florida. It's on homeland defense via Operation Noble Eagle, intercepting Russian bombers near U.S. airspace. Deployments to the Indo-Pacific Dieter China with rapid Raptor packs enabling quick setups on remote islands like Iwo Jima in 2024 exercises. Modernizations keep it lethal. AIM-260 missiles, infrared search and track pods, and stealthy external tanks for longer legs. By 2025, upgrades worth $10.9 billion ensure it bridges to the next-generation air dominance fighter around 2030. It's not just flying, it's evolving, proving U.S. air power in a multipolar world. There you have it, the F-22 Raptor from Cold War dream to modern myth. If this hooked you, smash that like button, drop a comment on your favorite fighter jet, and subscribe for more adrenaline-fueled breakdowns. We'll see you in the skies next time. Stay airborne.